Hello, this is Chong. In the previous video, introductions of SIMPAT Plus and program team with SIMPAT Plus and pre simulation SIMPAT LIP team stress test, Broom Taxonomy was utilized to guide the video productions. The introduction of SIMPAT Plus represents the knowing or remembering and understanding in Broom Taxonomy while the videos of program teams with SIMPAT Plus is the applications of SIMPAT Plus with written scenario. The following video will cover the enhancing process for the programmed SIMPAT scenario. With this, we will touch Broom Taxonomy's categories of analyzing, evaluating and creating. The team editor will be utilized to create the physiological touch. In analyzing program scenario, let's examine one, the program stage, and two, transition between states. In an example of hemodynamically instable atrial fibrillations, AFib, will this be a hemodynamically in stable AFib state. Or this. Or maybe this. In comparing to the first state of AFib, the second state of AFib is less stable. Yet the third AFib demonstrated transient abrupt changes in ECG frequency with repeating blood pressure crash. Can this be the least stable AFib? This is a practical reason for having a written scenario. The documented details is a mean for verifications in the programming purpose or else the simulation educator will need to handle the programming in addition to formulate the written scenario let's analyze the vtvf scenario from the previous video the all normal state turns into vt with pulse has the normal sinus rhythm instantly leap into VT without any warnings. This phenomenon reoccurred as VT moves into VF and VF shifts into ROSC. Hence, further evaluation is needed to determine if additional physiological touch is needed. In justification of physiological touch in the simulator manipulations, this state leads can be a norm for novice learners with plain simulation objectives. However, for advanced learners with complex simulation needs, i.e. in prevention of cardiopulmonary arrest, improvement is necessary to enhance the parameters' fertilities for the VTVF scenario to meet the training objectives. Next will be Broom Creating Category. Let's utilize team editors to value add parameters fertilities for VTVF. Step 1. Transfer VTVF from SIMPAD into laptops with Microsoft Silverlight and launch the DAO's team editor.
Subsequently, let's open the VTVF with Team Editor. Next step, modify VTVF 1.0 state by state by injecting physiological details into different states. Some may need small, some may need none. Once done, save the VTVF 2.0 into laptop before transfer it to SIMPAD Plus by replacing the older versions of VTVF. Lastly, let's examine the new VTBF scenario with SIMPAD and lead patient monitor. In state 1, all normal. Manual commands of unifocal PVCs is added to allow simulator operator prompt the learners of potential crisis. This enhances the engaged or immersive mode among learners. In here, learners can exercise their crisis prevention measure If learners couldn't be prepared or organize it on time, the normal sinus rhythm will slip into VT with pulse in a brief transition. Instead of dash into pulseless VT or VF, VT with a weak pulse could further reinforce the simulation's immersive atmosphere. Upon VF step in abruptly, simulations focus shift into reviving process. In VF state, the simulator system needs to be ready for RSC, hence the BP, SpO2 and ETCO2 level are prefixed to the later state. The A story is set here to mimic the post defibrillation ECG flatline, while RSE consists of layers of parameters changes in sequence. With revive of ECG rhythm, the ECG frequency gain with PVCs, the BP, SpO2, and ETCO2 raise soon after the revive ECG, but this parameter remain in. Uh, relatively instability till the post resuscitation care kicks in. Alright, that's all for now. I hope that you like this video. Bye bye.